It's one thing to make the 10,000 horsepower necessary to run over 330 miles per hour in under four seconds. But to be able to do it consistently, you need good information to make the proper adjustments to avoid things like tire smoke, drop cylinders, and early engine damage. And that's where the onboard data recorder comes in. Courtney Forrest's crew chief, Ron Douglas, breaks down the main functions of that important piece in this week's Traxxas Extreme Power Session. The data recorder on these funny cars is located inside this box right here at the front of the Traxxas funny car. We use that data recorder to gather information about what happens to the car on the run. We can monitor several things, exhaust gas temperatures, blower boost, wheel speed, and many other functions that we take a look at as pertain to the clutch and other systems on the car. The fuel system is completely monitored as well as a lot of the functions of the ignition. One of the important things we monitor is our exhaust gas temperature, or as we call it, EGT. We use probes located inside the header tube and monitor the temperature of each individual cylinder while the car is uh, idling, staging, and then we can monitor that temperature on the run and see if a cylinder is too hot, too cold, or if a cylinder goes out, we know exactly which one it was. The data from the Traxxas Funny Car gets uploaded into our computer with an SD card and then we can download that information and take a look at this, for example, is the exhaust gas temperatures from a run. We can see over here where the cursor is, this is when the car is staging. And the temperatures vary from around 170 degrees to over 500 degrees. And then at the hit of the throttle, the temperatures rise and come out here. And right before the end of the run, you can see it actually drops the cylinder. That's that temperature falling down as the unburnt fuel goes through that tube. And down here we have the pan pressure from the engine. This is a typical run where we didn't hurt any parts. That's a normal amount of pan pressure for a run. If it hurts a piston really bad somewhere here, you'll see this pan pressure jump up and that'll tell us exactly where on the run it hurt the part. And if you can make that run without hurting any of those parts he's talking about, keep all the cylinders lit, you can run the big speed like Courtney did here last year, 325 miles per hour, the fastest 1,000 foot funny car speed ever.